don't you use any other color but blue? Seriously? So some people can be a little bit rude when they ask me questions at art shows, but in this particular case, it was one of my very good friends and she challenged me to create some wine glasses for her using white and gold. Not my normal colors, but I am in love. So stay tuned, watch the video and it's quick, 15 minutes I think, and see how I used these colors to create something really beautiful and classical for her bar area. I'm in Beige, I'm a coastal magnolia. I live on the coast of Florida where the ocean is my inspiration. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Let's get These started. These have already been cleaned and I have cleaned them with alcohol. I put them on my turner. This, uh, the red is just um, a little bit of, a little piece of spongy pool noodle to stabilize the glass on the turner arm. So that's what that is. I think I'm going to turn. Okay. So this is going to be two colors. A silver white sesso mica powder and gold alcohol ink. And I've put the mica powder in my glass or in my resin. And this is again using my KS resin liquidy split. And I hope that I've mixed enough. I think I have. I don't tape the edge of my glass because I don't take my resin all the way to the top anyway. So I don't tape the rim. And that helps me get kind of a, you know, a really uneven edge, but it's, you know, more, more natural that way. It's not a hard edge. And I kind of like that. So we're just getting a nice, even coat. And I have to be careful to get the bottom, but I think I mentioned it. I'm using KS Resin Liquidy Split. And that is my go-to because it, although it has a shorter working time, it has a really fast cure. It's a low viscosity, so I don't get a lot of movement in my resin when I apply it on the glass, but I don't want that. I don't want a fluid flow, I guess. So I have a little bit left. I'm just gonna drizzle it on here. I mean, I have used thinner resins. The KS resin has a, you know, the art resin. It's great for tumblers and, and glasses and cups and whatnot when you do want a lot of movement in the resin. It's great, but I don't. I like this particular resin. That's just my, my preference. You do you. I'm gonna take this glove off because Ugh. And I think my bottle probably has some gunk on it. Oops, sorry. Let's so get a paper towel. And grab it. Funky. All right. So this is Pixis Gold, and I've already I already shook it up earlier. I want to be careful because the gold does tend to dominate. So I'm not gonna apply very much of it at all. Definitely want some on the bottom. Okay, that's all. One more, right there. 
Okay. I'm gonna put the lid on so I'm not tempted. I had a hard time getting that lid off today. Okay, my hand has some alcohol. All right, I'm gonna heat it to with my heat gun on the low heat and a high air. Whoops, high air. And what I wanna do is just heat up this resin and it just causes that gold to break up. And it allows it to flow a little bit. You'll see it start to move in a minute. I'm just kind of pushing it. giving it a marble look. Break that up a little bit. There we go. What do you think? Okay, my secret trick. I'm gonna pulse, pulse the turner arm off and on a few times. Oh, let that resin, oh, that's gonna be a big drip. If I don't let it go, there we go. Pulse it on and off and watch it really good so you don't get a big drip on your surface. What it does is it just pulls the resin down to the, you know, towards the bottom, towards that bottom side, and it really allows your resin to flow and create swirls and neat patterns. So I'm gonna leave it, I like it, I'm digging it. Yep, we're gonna leave it, let it turn. Come back in a few hours and see what we got. Okay, it's time to take them off the turner. Mm. Need to work on that. So these have been turning for about six hours. Get my little, look at that. I love these, they're so simple, so elegant. That's what I wanted. I wanted something different other than the standard blue beachy that I do. I probably will clean this up a little bit and put a another clear coat on here. Although I don't really need to, but I probably will. Let's take the other one off. I'm 
remember I just used the that piece of pool noodle just to tighten up the the um, glass on the turner arm. I love these. Yep, definitely not something I normally do. Just the two, you know, the the white and gold. But I'm glad that I did. I love them. These turned out amazing. Look at that. Have a little cleaning up to do at the edge, but other than that, these are done. Appreciate everybody watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you would please consider subscribing to my channel and help me grow. Appreciate you very much. Bye. Let's try again. Mm, 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 mm.